Hello, today I will show you all how to create your virtual classroom, also known as a Bitmoji virtual classroom. Today I'm not going to show you the Bitmoji part, I am just going to show you the basics on setting up your classroom. First, you need to do, first thing you need to do is open up uh, Google Slide. Once you open up Google Slides, you need to start with a blank presentation. With your blank presentation, you want to get rid of the title and the subtitle default that's there. We don't need that. Now, the first thing we want to do, the next thing we want to do is put your background on. So I'm going to hit background. Let me go back. Right underneath add-ons, there's a background button. I'm going to click that and I'm going to choose my image. Once I choose my image on the far right, I am going to go to Google Image Search. And at the top, I want to choose wall and floor. Background. Once I hit wall and floor background, you will have many options on um, your background. You choose one that fits whatever you're trying to do. And in this case, I am going to choose this second one just for the sake of time and hit insert. And done. So here I have my wall and my floor and it's not movable. So if I click it, I cannot move it. Okay, that's a, that's a good part because it's stationary and it doesn't interfere with anything else. I want to go ahead and start adding to my classroom or my room. I would like to go up to insert hit image and go all the way over to search the web. When you search the web, you wanna make sure you have the word transparent. And then you type in whatever you want. So in this case, I'm gonna do a transparent whiteboard. And I am going to hit enter. You could go through these and find whichever one suits you. And I am going to click the first one you could click two of them, three of them if you want. It'll insert all of them at the same time, but I am going to pick the first one and hit insert. Once the image pop up on the screen, you can move it. You can adjust it however you like. What I am going to do though, is I am going to double click on it and I am going to crop it. So I'm gonna grab the black corners and I need to crop it. This step is not necessary, but I feel um as though it'll give me more working space and now i have my whiteboard if you notice my floor is a little bit smaller sometimes you could get the wall smaller and the floor larger which allows you to put extra items there or for now i am going to leave that there moving on let's go back to insert go to images and i am going to search the web again i'm going to backspace i'm going to leave the word transparent there and this time i would like a chair a lot of times people make their virtual room, virtual room with clip art. Sometimes they'll make it with um, realistic items. I'm gonna use this pink one and this black chair, and I'm just gonna insert both at the same time just to show you how that work. Actually, you know what? I think I didn't click the black one. So again, I'm gonna double click on this and I'm gonna trim it down. And again, this part is not necessary. You know how much room you are working with in your room, but I'm just gonna trim it just a little bit because I don't like all the extra border on there. Control Z is a shortcut that always undo the last thing that you did just in case. Okay, and now I'm going to move it down. I can make it smaller, I can make it bigger. I'm gonna leave it just like that for now. Go back to insert. Let's see, what can I insert? I would like to insert a book case or bookshelf, however you want to put it. Hit enter. Let's see what comes up. And I see all of these different books, depending on if you want books in your classroom. I try to get the flat, depending on where and what I'm putting in my classroom or my room, depends on the angle that you're looking for. So I am just, again, going to pick this first one and I am going to hit insert. If it's something you don't like or is not working out, you can always um, change and adjust it. I'm gonna grab the corner and I am going to minimize it. Um, maybe I shouldn't have used this one because it doesn't work great in this spot. Let me delete this, you all. 
and go back under insert go to image just giving you all an idea let me get and i see a lot of people with the basics so i am going to get let me go with and although i put transparent i am getting some that's not transparent on there i don't want clip art although some clip art is going to show i may end up getting that yeah let me just get this one here just a clip art but it's a small rolling where is it there it is all right awesome so i'm just going to drop that right here on the floor maybe it goes in the library and you can adjust it however you want you don't want it on the wall you want it kind of down on the floor to make it seem a little bit more realistic and i'm going to keep inserting images maybe i want a poster i don't have to put the word transparent behind it behind it and i'm just going to pick this one and boom there it is i'm going to move the whiteboard over just going to put it here now what i want to do is i move, want to move this poster behind the chair so i am going to right click and i am going to go to order i can move it backwards but it's going to move it back behind each item that you last um insert it in your picture so i hit backwards once and it actually moved it one level behind the bookcase but if i know that i want it all the way against the wall i could have went just send it all the way to the back okay and again i'm gonna have it here it's okay that some of it may be covered up because in the classroom or in any room it happens like that and one last thing i want to insert and that is my words on the board so I want to go to insert at the top, just like you would do a regular document, hit text box. Once you hit text box, it's going to give you the text box. Um, I thought I hit it. There it is. And you just type like a word document. And in this case, I'm going to type, welcome to my class. And I am going to, Go ahead and format it as if it was a Word document. I am going to center it. I am also going to make it bigger and I'm also going to change the font. And you can make it however you want. Let me see. Um, <clears throat> you can also download more fonts if you do not like the fonts that you have right there. All right, and I am going to make this a little bit bigger. And that is it. Okay, so those are your basics on how to get your virtual classroom started. And of course, at the top, you want to um, put whatever your title you want. Thank you all for stopping by my tutorial. Good luck. And I hope you all create amazing rooms.